Wash trading in cryptocurrency exchanges. What is it, who benefits, and why? Coming up on this episode of Tribe TV. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. I really appreciate you guys hanging out for another one. I'm going to make this one a quick one, but I just, I like doing videos where I can bring information to people from inside the cryptocurrency space that's actually going to allow them to benefit. I think that if you don't understand the game, there's a good likelihood that you're probably getting played. So for that reason today, I wanted to put together a quick video talking about wash trading. What is it? Who does it? How does it affect you? How does it affect me? How does it affect applications? And how does it actually affect the ecosphere? Wash trading in essence is the same person continually placing buy and sell orders and essentially buying back whatever they were selling to create fake volume inside of an exchange or to create a certain impression by anybody who may be ultimately watching those stocks or watching that particular trading pattern. It's often a form of manipulation and it's not always done necessarily by people who are trading themselves. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit through that. I'm going to talk about why wash trading is a bad thing and I'm honestly going to peel back an article and I'm going to say that this is allegedly and I'm going to use the word allegedly ultimately so I don't get sued but it's going to talk about some of the exchanges out there that are participating in wash trading why it's such a big industry and it was really an eye-opener for me I hope that it's an eye-opener for you and I hope you enjoy this quick little video on wash trading that being said if you like what I do do me a favor give me a subscribe drop me a like and hit that little bell to get notifications when the next videos are actually coming out appreciate you guys watching I'm glad to have you here please leave me some comments and tell me what you guys think of this video below so I was first actually alerted to this particular website which has a lot of the information that I'm gonna be talking about today and this is blockchaintransparency.org. I'll make sure that I leave a link to that below inside of the comments and I always knew that there was wash trading going on, but I didn't really understand how it affected people, how it affected the common investor, and how it actually affects projects. Ultimately, I never understood how it really affects crypto in a negative way. The Blockchain Transparency Institute is essentially an institute that's put together kind of a watchdog to watch trading volume on some of the cryptocurrency exchanges. And they essentially say that they've spent countless hours watching over order books, analyzing volume data points, and speaking with market makers, high frequency traders, and trade surveillance consultants. We have collected an enormous amount of data, and we now feel confident to begin releasing these figures. Also coming out of this data, we have discovered four different bot strategies that are used to inflate exchange volume numbers. Some of these bots appear to be set up by different trading pairs, depending on the time of day. Settings are changed based on current volume trends or hype given around a token for that period. So they kind of did a little analysis of the top 25 CMC Bitcoin trading pairs. And they say that most of the pairs volume is actually under 1% of the reported volume on CMC. We only noted three out of the top 25 pairs not to be grossly wash trading their volume. Binance, Bitfinex, and liquid. So their most recent findings include that OKX has been moved to their advisory exchange list as they just found out about all of their top 30 traded tokens to be engaging in wash trading when processed through their algorithms. It appears they've benefited most from the CMC referral traffic as their estimated adjusted volume for them would still keep them in the top 10. Huobi was found to be wash trading many of their top 25 volume numbers but to a lesser degree than OKX. Hit BTC's top 25 has shown clear evidence of wash trading as well. Both of their adjusted numbers from this report have also landed them on their advisory list. We checked into BitThumb after numerous reports and found large amount of wash trading primarily with Monero, Dash, Bitcoin, Gold, and Zcash. So this site, I do advise you go and check it out, has a pretty interesting list. It's got the top 25 BTC pairs on coin market cap. And looking at this list based on the amount of real volume that they found in their studies, the results are pretty shocking. According to their study, Coinbean, which is the number one ranked exchange for volume on coin market cap only has 1% of real volume. OKX falling around 11%. Finance and Bitfinex coming out on top with 100% of their volume apparently being real. Hit BTC and Huobi falling within 25 and 26%. And a lot of other really popular exchanges on the top 25 of coin market cap. Now here's the kicker. Based on this data, over 80%, 80 freaking percent of the CMC top 25 Bitcoin pairs volume is wash traded. These exchanges continue to use these strategies as a business model to steal money from aspiring token projects. Now, why exactly would exchanges go through all this effort to wash trade? And it really boils down to exchange listings. It says here, listing fees are big business. So based on the information that they've received from many tokens in the space, the average project spent over $50,000 this year 
and listing fees from exchanges on the advisory list. The advisory list is not the good list. This adds up to an estimated 100 million stolen in 2018 from the crypto ecosystem. And with over 50 exchanges wash trading over 95% of their volumes, with some exchanges making over $1 million this year just from collecting these fees. So it's a really interesting list. It's always good for yourself as an investor to know which exchanges are actually taking part in some of this wash trading because a lot of their volume is gonna be fake and the cards are essentially gonna be stacked against you. So I really suggest that you come check out this website. It's got a lot of interesting info and it really is an eye opener for a lot of us in the cryptocurrency space because you know that there's a certain amount of manipulation, but according to what this report and what this organization is actually saying, the manipulation is just absolutely mind blowing and it's far beyond anything that I personally could have perceived. Now that's lots of doom and gloom. So let's talk about the people who are actually doing the right thing because those are the exchanges that you should be focusing on. Those are the exchanges that ultimately are a little bit more trustworthy. Now in first place, of course, Binance with 100% Bitfinex doing a great job with 100% of real volume. Coinbase Pro, Bitflyer, Kraken all up there with 100% of real volume. Upbit with 100% of real volume and Gemini with 100% of real volume. On the same list, of course, we see HitBTC with 25% of real volume. Huobi with 26% of real volume. And OKX with 11% of real volume. And that's the top 10 trading pairs. So out of the top 10, you've got three trading pairs there that are 75% or more fake volume. Now at first, before I did this video, I was a little bit hesitant. And then I went over to their media coverage where you can see the amount of articles that have actually used this information and used this site to be able to get the word out to people. And there's quite a few. Luckily, lots of them have much better lawyers than I do. So I'm assuming that a lot of the reports that are coming out of here hold some sort of weight amongst the media and amongst investing partners. So anyway, just kind of a quicker one today, but I think that it's good for everybody to know this kind of information. I really suggest you go and you check out that listing, go and take a look at some of the research that's being done because ultimately there's a lot of money that's moved around. In order to get onto coin market cap, you have to be listed on two coin market cap exchanges and be trading for a certain period of time. A lot of the other exchanges know this and they capitalize on this and listing tokens becomes a big, big business, which leads to manipulation on the exchanges, which leads to everybody getting screwed right down along the line, right down to your common everyday investor. If we can call out some of the stuff that's going down, the right exchanges that are doing the right thing are going to make it to the top. And hopefully those exchanges will take the precedent to onboard tokens that are really going to make a difference. And it's not just a money grab, which results in a stronger token economy, less manipulation, and a better world for all of us to invest our funds into. Hope you all have an amazing day, night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go do something fun. Life is too short. I will see you guys soon. Ciao for now.